Game 5 ALDS, fantastic game. But before we get into the highlight, look at this. Glass now throw over to first. This is what I want to highlight. The base cam. Absolutely love this thing. Don't know why Major League Baseball is not using this on the majority of plays or a lot of plays. Fans love it. All right, let's set this up. Chapman against Mike Brousseau. I mean, we're talking game five, tie ball game, bottom of eight. Doesn't get any better than this. And, you know, there's some history with these two teams. There's the first pitch, 98 mile per hour strike. But wait, let's talk about the history. Back on September 1st, Chapman against Brousseau. Buzzes his tower, 101 mile per hour. Now I know there's both sides of the coin. And if you talk to any Yankee fan or Rays fan, they got years of the tallies. They've tracked every pitch and whatnot. Both teams were worn, but the only person that knows about intent on that was Chapman. Now what happened is Chapman got Brousseau out, and then the Yankees started chirping at him at the end of the game. Benches cleared. You know, everybody just kind of meandered around. Nothing was really done. No punches. That was that. So here's the second pitch. 99 per hour fastball. And then look at this pitch. I've seen this pitch called a strike numerous times in the NLDS series. So, Yankee fans, yeah, I see you on that one. That could have gone either way. 1-2 count. And then Brousseau just proceeds to have a fantastic 10-pitch at-bat against Chapman. Fouling it off, staying alive. Just an incredible at-bat. And then look at that pitch. Yep, Yankee fans, that was a ball. I thought it was a strike, too. And then he fouls it off. And this just builds the moment. Continues the battle. Continues to go against Chapman. And here we go. Revenge against the guy that threw 101 at my head. 3-2. Gone. Crushes the shot. 375 foot shot. 22 degree launch angle. And then as he arrives at the dugout, it's like he's being jumped into a gang. He just gets mugged by his teammates. As expected. Super pumped because you go up 2-1. You just have to shut down the Yankees in the top of the nine to move ahead into the ALCS. There it is again. And you know, for Tampa Bay Ray fans, this is sweet revenge. You know, they've had a long history with the Yankees, and for the Yankees, this is a tough way to end the season. You have your best pitcher in there to close out the game. And then, the very end of the game, Ursulo hits into the third baseman. Look at that exit velocity. Hits it to Joey Wendell, and it almost went through the glove. It wasn't a snow cone. This almost blew up his glove, and that was the game-ending play. And the Rays move on. Great game. Great game five.